everybody's always talking about the inefficiencies of 135 operations. From struggling to book a jet to the, the empty leg stuff to you know, fleet efficiency, is blockchain and AI going to revolutionize aircraft operations? I think that all the technology is in the cockpit, right? That's the joke about private aviation. I don't know if it's going to revolutionize it, but it, it should help it. I don't think blockchain has much to do with it at this point, except as far as you've got aircraft parts that are being inventoried much more efficiently, which help improve safety. So I think that, you know, really smart engineers are out there and, and they found the thing that blockchain does the best, which is which is that, as far as I can tell. The financing is a really difficult thing to get past from a regulatory standpoint, so I don't see that happening. But I will say that AI definitely has a role to play in terms of, of optimization, I mean, AI is really good at classification and prediction and now generation based upon manipulation of those two basic capabilities. Think of it. So, you know, it's going to improve customer service, I think. It's going to offload the things that humans need to do so that when the humans do do things, it's the things that you want the humans doing. That makes sense. So absolutely. Yeah, I mean, but, I just don't, you know, Jets and FlexJet, you know, they run, you know, your bigger operators probably fly exclusive. Everybody's running these big optimization programs for their fleets. How much more is, yeah, who's out there doing machine learning to help them optimize it? And what's the market look like? You know, what do you think the market looks like overall? I think that the market for optimization software is limited because, as you say, the biggest players tend to do it themselves. We sort of joke that we route a little bit like not net jets, but everyone else jets because it's fleet optimization for the other 3,000 charter planes, really 1,900 charter planes that are booking out there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, sort of freely available. I mean, that's just something again, 900 flex debt might be in the mid fours these days. I'm not sure exactly where the number is. 1900 is a big number. So, you know, to the extent that you can improve that fleet optimization for everyone else and you can benefit, you know, great. Let's be honest. It is a bespoke thing every time someone pays 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, even 250,000 out of the cases you know, to go charter an aircraft. So, it's not like the whole thing breaks unless you have Expedia. There's enough margin and money there that it can be done by humans kind of forever. So when you go improving it, you have to be careful how you get paid to do so, which is part of why reroute is, you know, really a brokerage activity, not a fee-for-service activity.